at Cubic Motion were responsible for accurately recreating the actors' performances using the face rig designed by Trilateral. Chris Roberts has compiled a really stellar cast for the game and that's given us some amazing performances. So we have to ensure that our technology is capturing every nuance of those performances. Stage one of the Cubic Motion facial animation process involves analysing the actor's performance. So that means tracking hundreds of points on the face, covering all the main facial features, such as eyes, inner lips, teeth and skin creases. In addition to that, we capture texture information from the video and that gives us this extra level of fidelity in the data. After we have analysed the performance, we move on to stage two in the process. And this means solving the data to the CG character's face rig. Now, the, the face rigs are extremely complex. They've got over 100 controls and they're capable of recreating any movement that the actors might do in their performance. So our solving process has to be incredibly powerful and it needs to enable us to generate large volumes, massive volumes of very consistent and high quality animation data. Every rig control has its own measure within the solver and each of these measures looks at very specific regions of the face and how those regions move relative to another region. Now, we can combine multiple measures and what this means is that we can then accurately recreate realistic facial motion like when you speak or when you emote because at any of those moments there are multiple facial muscles triggering simultaneously so you need this complexity and power within the solver to make these massive and complex combinations. So let's take two examples of the solver in action. Firstly we've got a funneling mouth shape and this, is, this shape is essential for facial animation and lip sync but it's very difficult to identify but the solver does a great job of this. It looks at the thickness or the volume of the lips, the narrowness, the width of the mouth, uh, the depth of the mouth, how it protrudes away from the face Identifying all of these factors means that we can get a very accurate animation channel to drive the funneling rig control. A second example would be the nuance that we can capture. So if you look in this demo video, what you can see uh, are very small eye twitches that are happening under the actor's skin almost. And you can see then inside of Maya that the solver has captured these and transferred the data across to the relevant control within the face rig. Once we have sold the data to all of the facial rig controls, we can then finalise the animation and then pass that data across to Cloud Imperium and they can integrate it into the game engine.